welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add shipping rates here in stripe let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in stripe i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to add shipping rates in stripe you need to follow these simple steps because shipping rates are managed through the uh, stripes payment links and checkout sessions that's going to be the uh, stripes hosted checkout page where you can define different shipping options depending on how you set up your stripe account i want you to click on the product catalog that you wanted and there's going to be the options for the shipping rates i want you to click on it and from here this is the uh, dashboard wherein we can specify shipping rates and use it on your customers receipts invoices and checkout sessions i want you to click on the create shipping rate button and it's up to you if you wanted to add a specific value for the amount for example i'm going to put in 69 dollars you can also add additional currencies if you wanted for example um is it going to be um united arab emirates dirham afghan afghani and maybe we're going for the gbp or the british pound you can use the checkout api to create custom shipping rate we're gonna do that later but for the description i'm going to put in something like this okay now the estimated shipping time is optional for example it's gonna be between 69 days 69 business days and maximum of 96 business days or you can put in an hours you can put in uh days which includes holidays all right you can put in weeks and even months depending on how you want to set it up all right so after that all i have to do is click on save once you've done that as you can see you cannot exceed on the uh we're just um we're, we're gonna fix that okay so the six and nine how about that right so once you've done they have already added your shipping rates in stripe okay if you wanted to archive with the shipping rate you can do so here but that's gonna be for the uh another video i'm going to go back to the shipping tax uh, shipping rates and create another shipping rate and this time it's going to be 6.9 i'm going to use the checkout api to create a custom shipping rate now here you can charge for shipping and create different shipping rates for your customers you have the payment links okay you have the checkout we you have the web elements and mobile elements all right for the payment links right here go to the payment link let me do that right now just wait for it because you would be forwarded to the payment links section okay now for the product or subscription you might want to deal with that later but for now we're going to the uh, shipping rates now for the uh i'm going to put in another product and that's going to be um let's say for this video I'm going to upload an image all right this is particularly helpful if you wanted to have more control and you can be a little bit creative with your shipping rates here in stripe because by adding these you can easily choose their shipping option without leaving the checkout page and of course improving the overall user experience now you have more options at the bottom you can charge the right amount of tax on every product you sell with a stripe tax but that's gonna be for a different video because right now as you can see my profile is it complete i'm not comfortable completing my profile yet in stripe so if you do just uh, continue you have uh, the uh, statement descriptor unit label And more data you can add in as much as 
value as you can if you want to add more let you can you're welcome to do so you can add a line if you wanted for example that and is it going to be a recurring or one-off for the recurring you are put you are required to put in the amount and again if you prefer the us dollar you are welcome to do so but there's a lot of um, other options here depending on your country that you wanted to have the shipping rates as the default in my case i'm just going for the usd for now if you change the one off you see the adaptive pricing is enabled because customers can automatically pay in their local currency for example it's on usd but their local currency could be um uh, singaporean dollars or dirhams or gbp they're welcome to do that all right but for the recurring you can put the uh, billing period for is it going to be daily weekly because it's recurring all right every three months every six months or a custom um, option we're in you can put in every let's say 69 days or six nine days you have a few more pricing options you can put in a price description right here and the lookup keys makes it easier to manage and make future pricing changes by using a unique key if you wanted you can do that so you have more control and more advanced option but i'm not going to do that and go back again to the uh, shipping rate option and from here you can just put in the uh, quantity for example 6.9 and click on next you can add a product and after doing so click on this option and voila you have successfully added the uh, shipping rates in a custom option all right now you can collect customer's address require customer phone address include a free trial if you wanted to limit the number of payments if you wanted and for that you can simply create the link just wait for it to load and you have all of these options for the shipping rates okay now if in any case you are having problems adding a shipping rate on your account here in stripe i want you to click on the help section click the support center just wait for it to load click the view support articles you can contact the support which is going to be 24 7 from the support staff right type in your question to see if we get an answer otherwise simply click this contact sales at the bottom you would be forwarded in this interface where you just have to send them an email about your problems adding shipping rates and they would reply back with an insight and troubleshooting guide on how to fix it all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one